when I built this toolbox, I pretty much dedicated all of seven days to it. I got up really early, got to the shop, worked on it all day, ate some food, maybe drank some beers here and again, and went to sleep and did it again. And doing that consistently on one singular focus makes you realize how long something actually took. It's a difference between working on something, you know, an hour here, an hour there, and, you know, you, you get it done in a couple months, and you know it didn't take a couple months. You say, oh, well, yeah, you know, I, I worked on it over the course of three months, and I got it done, and I probably spent, you know, X hours on it. But when you are working on something singular, singularly focused, you know, okay, this is how long it took. It took about seven full days of work, seven, like, ten-hour days. Um, I wasn't goofing off. I wasn't on email. I wasn't checking social media. I was just working on this thing. And, and it's great. And it's cool to do that. And you see the results of your efforts manifest itself slowly right in front of you. And that is, I mean, it's crazy. I don't know how people do anything actually without having some amount of singular focus because it's so easy to get distracted by a million things. You know, they, they say the rule is during an eight-hour workday, there's five hours of real work. Gets done. So that's three hours just out the window doing bullshit. Probably not even work-ish stuff. It's probably five hours of what you would call the normal office work. So like meetings and, and email bullshit and maybe doing some programming if you're a programmer or some writing if you're a, some knowledge worker or whatever like that. But the other three hours is goofing off, checking social media, going to the bathroom, taking breaks, taking lunch, talking to your cup, you know, da, 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 da. So when you do a full eight hours, which I can, which I can see when I check my billing software, like if I work eight hours during the day, because I start and stop the clock whenever I'm doing work, like CAD work or whatever, like real work, I can, I can see, okay, this was an eight hour day. And an eight hour day is a long day because that's like, okay, let's say you start at eight. So then lunch, so that's four hours. And then another four hours gets you to the afternoon of solid work. So when you do like a, like a 12 hour day, you're, you're like there all day. And, uh, when you do that physically, building something, you, you're working, it's hard. It's a whole bunch of work. And uh, it's amazing that people don't do this more. And, it's, and it's, it's sad that we are in this distraction, distractibility attention economy, where it passes for getting stuff done slowly chipping away at it or doing just enough to push something forward instead of separating yourself and doing something right. So that is what this taught me. And you sit there as the world swirls around you, slowly chiseling out a mortise or whatever and, and realize that you have to dedicate yourself singularly to these activities to keep that inspiration going and, keep the excitement and the focus on the detail that you're working with. And so in you, you're making something, you're like bringing it into the world and it's like a part of you. Once it exists, it is your, it is the manifestation of your current abilities and design intention and something that started out as boards that you would toss around on the, workbench becomes this thing that you are careful with and you, you, you are sensitive to it and you understand all of its imperfections and where you, where it needs more work or where it needs, you know, more finish and stuff like that. And, and you, you, you have created something else in physical reality that comes from you. I can imagine this is what it's like having a kid and you put all this effort into into something and, and it's there. I mean, it, it must be awesome.